In this video, we're going to cover custom polygon display, which will allow you to set display options of how you want to view your objects for game environment modeling. To access custom polygon display, go to display, polygons, and on the very bottom of this menu, you will see custom polygon display. I'm going to detach this menu by clicking on this bar. And the menu option is right here, custom polygon display. Left click to open up the menu. Now I'm going to close this panel. Here you can set various display options for viewing your objects. Many of these will be set on a need by need basis. For example, you would not need to turn on normals during regular environment modeling, but there will be a time when you need to view your normals on the object to see if your faces of the object will display correctly inside the game engine. So you would only turn on normals when you are troubleshooting that object. So the first thing to be aware of is if you want to set custom polygon display to affect selected objects or all objects. So let's go ahead and click over to all. So every object in the scene is going to use these properties. The first option menu is to display vertices. This will display objects vertices without having to select that object. So let's go ahead and enable it. Click apply. And now you can see those vertices without going to component mode. You can also increase the size of the vertices. Currently it's three. Let's go ahead and bump it up to six and hit apply. The vertex size can also be used just for the component mode. So let's go ahead and disable vertices. Select our object, go to vertices and they will remain at a size of six. Let's go back to object mode. So increasing the size of the vertices will help to view them better. Next are edges. You can view them as standard edges and this is what we see right now or we can view them as soft and hard edges. So let's go ahead and select it and this will display your edges. Solid line will be hard edges and dashed line will show you soft edges. We're not going to cover this right now, but soft and hard edges are extremely important for game environment modeling. This is a little bit more advanced and beyond this first module, but this is something to be aware of and we will cover this later. I'm going to switch back to standard and let's hit apply. Highlighting border edges is something that you'd probably want to keep on at all times. So let's go ahead and enable this, hit apply, and nothing will happen in the scene until we have an open edge. So let's go ahead, go to component mode, select face and delete one of the faces. Now Maya will highlight open edge by displaying border edges. So when you model, it'll be easier to see which edges of your model are border edges. So this will be very helpful. And just like for vertices, you can increase edge width by inputting a different value. Let's go ahead, bring it back down to three. Now let's go back and select object mode. Next display option is face. The first one is centers, and this is a visual preference if you want to see each individual face and where the center of that face is. So let's go ahead, enable it, hit apply, and it will display the center of each polygon. So this is often helpful during modeling. Let's go ahead, disable it. Next option is the ability to display normals. Let's go ahead and enable, hit apply. This will display the direction of each face and which way the normal is pointing. When it comes to game environment modeling, only the faces which normals point out, as you see here on these faces in the box, will be rendered inside the game engine. And all the faces that do not have a normal pointing out, such as all of the faces inside the box, all of these faces will not be rendered inside the game engine and will be invisible. So it is very often that you will troubleshoot a model to make sure that the faces that you want to render inside the game engine will be displayed properly. And in order to do that, you will view normals and make sure that all of the normals are facing the correct direction. Now this is a little bit more advanced and it comes down to troubleshooting when you are exporting to a game engine. And if some faces don't render properly or are invisible, you would reverse or flip 
normals to make sure that those faces display correctly. So this is a bit more advanced and it is something that you may deal with during export and import of the game assets. So we're not going to be dealing with normals in this series. So let's go ahead and disable display normals and click apply. Next option is the ability to display triangles. This option will display all polygons as triangles. Everything inside the game engine is triangles. So your game assets are going to be triangulated prior to exporting from Maya and imported into a game engine. So sometimes it will be very helpful to view your model with triangles prior to triangulating and exporting your model. But most of the time during modeling process, you will keep triangles option turned off. So let's go ahead and disable triangles and click apply. And the last option is non-planar. This option is also going to be used towards the end when you are troubleshooting your object. So let's go ahead and enable this, hit apply, and it will display any faces that are not flat or not on the same plane. So I'm going to select the object, go to component mode and select the vertex. I'm going to raise this vertex until this face becomes non-planar. It's no longer flat and faces like this could cause a problem inside the game engine. So by enabling non-planar display, Maya will help to highlight those faces that could cause issues. So using non-planar display will be used at some point during your modeling process. So let's go ahead and disable this. And let's go back to object mode. And the last option we're going to cover in custom polygon display is back face colon. Currently this is set to off. This means that we can see the back faces of an object. So let me delete a couple more faces here on top. And we can see back faces of these polygons. By enabling back face colon and turning it to on, all the back faces will become invisible. And this will give you a more clear display of what faces are going to be rendered inside the game engine and which faces are going to be invisible. This display option is very helpful just like when you turn on normals to display which face normals are pointing the right direction. Back face colon actually removes the display of non-rendered invisible faces. So when we move around the object, you'll see which faces are going to be rendered inside the game engine and which faces are not. The other option is we can display keep wire. So this way you can see the wireframe of an object so it's easier to model while keeping the display of back faces from rendering. So back face colon and keep wire is probably something you want to turn on when you're modeling game environments. And if you ever mess anything up and you're not sure which option that you turned on or off, come up to edit, reset settings and click apply. This will revert back to default. So to get things started as you begin modeling, turn on the following options. Enable all objects affected, highlight border edges and back face colon, keep wire. And the rest of the options are going to be on need by need basis or if you want to turn on a few other display options to help you model. Let's go ahead and turn this menu off and if you go to display polygons a lot of these options are going to be also available in these menus here. So you don't have to go enable custom polygon display menu to set them. You can enable and disable most of these options through the drop down menu. In the next video, we're going to cover three important windows, Outliner, Hypergraph, and Hypershade.